Hey guys, short are up working on Philly Talk with MK, it's your boy MK. And just a quick reminder for you guys to hit the subscribe button, to hit the notification bell so when I upload and or go live, you'll be instantly notified. And for you guys to smash the like button so this will go out to more Philadelphia sports fans and to broaden the audience. And also for you guys to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as you can see down below in the description. Give me a follow guys, give me a follow. So, just to let you guys know, on the day of the NBA Draft, November 18th, next Wednesday, I am doing a live stream with my guy, 444 Philly Fan. He's a great upcoming YouTuber. I love this guy. I love his content. Go show him some love. I'm going to post his link in the description below. We're going to do a live stream and we're going to talk about the draft, the Sixers, what trades, etc. And... As soon as I find more info, I will let you guys know, okay? So, give him a subscribe. His link will be in the description down below. Give him a subscribe, guys. So, with the NBA draft next Wednesday, the Philadelphia 76ers have the 21st pick in the draft. Now, the Sixers could trade this pick to get a blockbuster move. To make a blockbuster move, they may have to trade this pick. But if they do not trade the pick with the 21st pick in the, M in the 2020 NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers should select point guard out of Stanford, Tyrell Terry, 6'3", 160 pounds. And he can shoot lights out. He reminds me of Trey Young, Steph Curry, Dame Lillard, uh, J.J. Redick. With the three-point shot, he averaged 45% from the mid-range and 40% from beyond the arc. I love that. I love a player who has confidence in his shooting ability. This guy, Tyrell, can shoot off screens. He can shoot off ball. He can shoot off pick and rolls, pick and pop. He can do all of that. And... He will be perfect for off the bench. Not in starter, but maybe it's a six man to give him a scoring punch for the bench. Because he averaged his freshman year at Stanford 15 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists. I'm going to repeat that again. 15 points, 5 rebounds, and 3 assists. Okay? He can get those boards when we need them. Out of a point guard, that is huge. That is a big... Thing for a rook for a point guard to get those boards and help go the other way to push the tempo. And now speaking of tempo, Tyrell Terry can find open man off the screen on the fast break. He can find the man anywhere. He has the best IQ in this draft. Tyrell scored like off the charts when the teams gave him like this test of best for IQ. He scored off the charts. I, I love that. I love a guy with high IQ to find an open man, to see what the basketball floor gives him, to see what other teams give him with the ball. And he is a ball-dominant player. He can dribble. He can find an open man. When you need to slow him down at the half court, he's your guy. When you need a three-point shot, he's your guy. When he you need, like, a clutch shot, He's your guy mid-range. Give it to him. Money. His jump shot is butter. I love his jump shot. Oh, my God. Now, let's talk about some... You know what? Before I get into some flaws, I want to talk about his finishing ability because he can finish with creativity. Like, he's coming down the lane and there's a guy, a bigger center, coming down at him. He can do a reverse right there. He always can find a creative way to put that ball in the hoop, which is what we need. We need that creativity for this offense. And with Doc Rivers and Dave Yeager and all the coaching staff, they can use that to a T. Can use that to a T. Guys, I love that. I love having the confidence in this guy's shooting ability, his playmaking ability, and to shoot just all. Off the ball. Okay? Off the ball. Now for his flaws is let's start with the offense, right? With the offense, 
Okay. He can force turnovers. But what I mean by that, he averaged like nearly three turnovers per game, which is really bad. Which is like, that cannot cut it in the NBA. But he can grow that over time with his game. So, that's not a main concern for me. Because it's a rookie. A rookie can make mistakes from time to time again. Right? People can do that, but it's not acceptable. So the Doc Rivers and Dave Yeager are going to have to sit him down and just tell him, look, you can't force, turn, first, force turnovers on this team. If you don't have the open look or the open shot, give it to someone who you can trust with the ball. Don't force anything. Give it to Ben Simmons, let him work, etc. Let him get comfortable with this offense. Let him just not force anything. Not force anything, okay? Now, for the defense side of the ball, it's mismatch. Because he sits for three, 160 pounds. He is working on getting bigger, building muscle, and just to like build weight, build muscle, which I love. I would love I love that intensity out of that guy. I love his work ethic. Alright, so let's say it's a pick and roll and he's the guy in the paint. We're gonna get scored on. Easy as that. He's six foot three. Okay? Six foot three and you can't handle a guy like a Sergi Baca or Boban or uh, Taco Fall or Anthony Davis. He's gonna get crushed. So that's another thing. So, when he's by himself, we're going to need, like, Embiid right there to help him in the paint. Or Ben Simmons to help him right in the paint. That's where the team defense to, comes into play. That is where the team defense picks up the other guy's weaknesses to help us succeed. And that's a perfect example of it. That's a perfect example of it. Just to have... Your teammates around who are like one of the best defenders in the entire league to help you out in the paint. That's basically it for the defense side. All right. And actually, let's go back to the shooting real quick. Let's go back to his shooting. He averaged like he makes like two or three threes a game and he shoots like five of them. That's great to spread the floor. To get the open shot. If you don't make it, okay, get the board next time. Won't we'll make it next time. I love the guy who attempts threes. That's what you need in a point guard. That's what you need off of the bench. That's what you need in just to like make the offense flow and everything. Ben Simmons may not be used for threes, but if we have Tyrell Terry and have more shooters around Ben Simmons and Embiid, we can really progress in our offensive game and just be better at it. Just to be better because what Brett Brown had did not work with three bigs in the paint. That did not work. So, drafting Tyrell Terry will help us go in the right direction. And that's what we need. Alright? And I'm sure there's other players that can shoot the ball, create offensive possessions and whatnot. But Tyrell Terry... Is one of my picks. I'm still going to have to do a little more research. And I'll probably have another video. Coming out this weekend. For the NBA Draft next Wednesday. Alright. So be on the lookout for that. Okay. So there you have it guys. Subscribe for more content. Hit the notification bell. To hit the like button. And to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And to give a subscribe to my man. 444 Philly fan. In the description below. Alright. MK out. See you guys.